Bristol Speedway filled in this morning. As from all corners of the compass, they wound around the mountains and filled this 147,000 seat speedway. A stadium setting for motorsports and today they'll race 500 laps. And the pit window here, Larry, 160 laps on a tank of gas. Well, it's pretty insignificant here. Very rarely do we go that far and uh, look like we're going green flag racing here for 500 laps. Buckle in tight, pull in belts, because it's going to happen about 16 seconds a lap. And all you're hoping for right now on this start is a good, clean start. Don't get run into by someone behind you. And everybody wants to get to the inside. Big battle to get down. Green flag, and we're racing at Bristol. Mark Martin with a good jump. The front four, single file. Harvick right behind him, Marlin, and Todd Bodine got fourth. Harvick got sideways off turn two, but he knew he wanted to get to the bottom of that racetrack and jump in front of Sterling Marlin in the 40 car. Very sideways again, and uh, basically that's the way that car was when he qualified it. Mark Martin has led the first two laps. We'll stand by for our silent lap three. young fella driving Dale Earnhardt's team or the team Earnhardt would have driven four here for Richard Childress takes lap three to take the lead and, and Larry he just proved to me one thing loose can be fast because he was sideways there for a couple got to go well, around 25 they do and look at them stacking up back there behind him look at them 97 Kurt Busch spins 92. In the 97 we talked about it in the opening one car spins normally collects two or three other cars there's no place to go and the spotters are hollering that what they're the hollering their lungs out but you can't get woke up it just won't stop there they all are and they're right on top of this they're right over in the third turn and they can definitely see what's going on but it happens so fast and you're going so fast let's see if there was contact the turn Nadu around. Here's Nadu right here. No, he just got it around. I don't believe anybody got into him. It looked like he just come around. Now watch these other guys. They got nowhere to go. He's going to come down the track, they think, but he stops. And here's the accordion that all compresses behind him. In your spotters, they don't know where to tell you to go. This racetrack is not that wide. Look at him just Oof. bumper tag there. Stacked up five, six deep. That's what you really fight here the most is getting run into from behind. You know what you're going to do, and you can see better than the guy behind you. It's hard to see around these cars. You can't see through them because the spoilers are so high on the back of them. Round goes Nadu. All by himself, trying to get back in the throttle. Slip the back end out from under it. Not the way you want to start a 500-lap race here, I can tell you. From Johnny Benson's Valvoline cam. He sees it, spotter saying, go low, go low, go low. And we have our first caution of the day at lap four. Jerry Nadu goes behind the wall for repairs. We'll be right back. This is NASCAR on Fox. Lap will go back to green after Jerry Nadu got into the wall in turn four on lap four. Kevin Harvick, your leader, Sterling Marlin, Todd Bodine. Kenny Wallace uh, got the worst of that one other than Nadu, the nose of his Pontiac, pretty well damaged. And there you see damage on Stacy Compton's right front as well. There's Kenny. His shopping bag got kind of uh, ruffled up there. Oh, that's minor. That's just, <laughs> that baby's just right for Bristol. Beat her on down. That's what they used to tell me here. We're running the car a little high. We'll race it down. As long as they ain't rubbing the tires and the radiator can still get some air to it, buddy. That's, good to that's go. all you got to have. All right, Four tires and the steering wheel. Let's get the Food City 500 back under green. Kevin Harvick. All right, here's the problem you have on a restart. Here's the start finish line. Look, the, these cars are just now coming off turn two. 42 cars still on the lead lap. Yeah. They're half a lap down when the green flag comes out. Oh, the, this is worst case scenario when you're in the back is a single foul restart because you have to string out even that much more. It's good for the race though because everybody's trying to get into some kind of a rhythm. Maybe now they'll get that chance. What you want to do here is just get you a little gap between you and the guy in front of you so you don't run into him and then a little gap between you and the car behind you. 
We've got a heck of a battle here for the eighth position. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the eighth car. Dave Blaney in the 93. Dale Earnhardt Jr., one of the fastest cars in that final practice yesterday. Knocked the nose off. They was repairing it this morning. They said they was ready to go. They are ready to go. And, and, and what Blaney is doing is really, really dangerous because it's giving Dale Jr. that inside line. He gets that fender in there. Blaney cuts down a little bit. Around he'll go. And the problem we have at Bristol, if you ever let one car underneath you this early in the race, Tim's going to come with him. Right behind them, there's Mike Skinner getting underneath Michael Waltrip. Andy Houston battling with them as you look back from the Lowe's cam on board Mike Skinner. Michael may have gotten more damage in that bump and go than uh, we thought he did because he's falling back. Casey Atwood in the 19, the Ray Everham Dodge with the green numeral on the roof, passing his teammate Bill Elliott. And them old drivers, they start looking for that high line because it ain't so crowded up there. Now Ricky Rudd's going to give Elliott a try. That's where you find clean air on a track like this, is up on the outside where there isn't anybody. But there normally is not a lot of grip in the racetrack up there. We've watched Rusty Wallace win nine races here. You won most of your races, Darrell, after it was concreted right around the bottom of that racetrack. Yeah, you got to hang that left wheel on that yellow line. But if you're back in the pack and you want to move forward, you're going to have to venture up in no man's land. Let's ride with the Miller Light Cam on board Rusty Wallace. Todd watch, Bodine, third place car just ahead. Watch Rusty go in there. Watch him stay. See Todd shove up. Rusty never gets off that yellow line. If they took that yellow line away, I don't know if he'd run good here or not. If you notice right here, going into turn one, he backed off the throttle way before he ever got to the corner. Right here, though, he picks that throttle up. That's where you beat people, from the center of the corner off. Let's let you crank it up a bit, folks. Those of you with surround sound, you can feel it here, 800 horsepower. Jeremy Mayfield said of racing at Bristol, it's like riding around in a clothes dryer for three and a half hours, and by the time you're done, somebody's lost a sock or two. <laughs> yeah, most time in your chin. Jeff Gordon's on the move. Yeah, these guys here are having a real battle. Bill Elliott got up on the outside there, but he finally found his way down to the bottom. Ricky Rudd, Bobby Labonte, these cars are all running really well. I think Gordon's just waiting for an Trouble. opportunity to pounce. Turn four, Robert Presley in the wall. Jeff Burton spins around to miss him. And everybody else has to thread their way through. I think this is like the fifth race where Burton has had trouble on this early in the race. And Presley went around. I don't believe there was any contact. Yeah, the worst thing that can happen to you is you can see what's happening. Because you respond to it. Other people don't know what's happening. And they run all over you. Let's see what happened to Robert Presley, who's had quite a strong season so far. Going down into turn three right here. There you see Robert Presley. Looks like he got a little bit of help from uh, Johnny Benson in that 10 car. Just comes on around. All it takes is just a little nudge right here. Yep. And it'll send Ruh -ruh. you sideways. Ruh -ruh. See, he opens the door. Open the door. Let that inside line look like it was open. Robert cut down. Trying to make the turn. Nowhere to go. From Tony Stewart. Whoa. All the way down to the apron. That's about the only place you could get through and know you was going to be safe. Second caution of the day comes out on lap 24. Kevin Harvick leads at Bristol. Sterling Marlin, Todd Bodine, and Rusty Wallace. Green flag waving, and Sterling Marlin gets sent up the racetrack after contact from Kenny Wallace. Kenny Wallace in the 27 car now. He's one lap down after trying to get his lap back. Got to the side of Sterling Marlin after they took the green. Boy, the car, they are absolute. Here, got one around, guys. Now Andy see. Houston is in the wall in turn three. Caution is out again. Oh, Nobody wow. else involved in this one. Here comes Kenny Wallace to get his lap back. 
He'll pretty much get it back with these. Kevin Harvick, don't push the issue here. No, it's only car lap down. 